The bodies of Canadian Brett Clibbery and his British wife Sarah Packwood have been identified after being reported missing by their family on June 18th. The couple were found July 10th in a lifeboat raft on Sable Island National Park Reserve. They had set sail from Halifax on their boat to the Azores. For an update now on the ongoing investigation, we're joined this morning by Saltwire's Scott Squires. Scott, good morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Nice to be with you. Uh, before we get to the investigation, set up for us this area of the Atlantic. It's often called the graveyard of the Atlantic. What makes it so volatile? Well, it's it's the flow of water just off the coast. Uh, Sable Island, as you mentioned, uh, where this 42-foot sailboat was found. Um, those waters are notorious for sometimes having really large waves. Uh, you know, there's big shifts in weather patterns. All you have to do is live anywhere on the coast of Nova Scotia along the Atlantic seaboard, Atlantic coast, to know just how quickly conditions can change. Uh, winds can pick up really quickly. Uh, and as you mentioned, the investigation is ongoing. Really tough seas sometimes out there, but at this point, anything that's being discussed about what may have happened is really just speculation. There's been a number of theories put out there, but nothing uh, has been proven yet and uh, still no wreckage from the sailboat itself. Uh, as you mentioned, the investigation today is still ongoing, but there are reports coming out that the couple left their 42-foot sailboat for the lifeboat uh, and then eventually the life raft that they were found on, their bodies were found on. What might have led to that decision to leave the ship that they had set sail on and use this emergency vehicle? Well, again, so much speculation. Early on, there was um, some theories that perhaps a large container ship um, may have struck the, the Pharaohs. Their, their sailboat, um, but it was an inflatable dinghy that they were found on, and that was actually lashed to the back part of the sailboat when they left. So the theory is if something as quickly as being struck by another, ve or another vessel could have happened, perhaps they wouldn't have had the time to unlash that inflatable dinghy and get inside of it. So I know that there's been some theories that it potentially could have been an electrical fire. They had swapped out uh, their diesel engines for electric engines. They were very passionate about having as green a trip as they could. Mm -hmm. So there's been speculation as well that perhaps an electrical fire uh, broke out and that would have been catastrophic by all accounts. So again, they're hoping that uh, the autopsies, that the investigation into what happened to the bodies um, will shed a little light on that. If there was a fire, perhaps they find smoke in the lungs, things of that nature. But again, right now, Anne-Marie, they left Halifax June 11th. They were discovered July 10th reported missing on June 18th, and right now it's a real mystery as to exactly. While investigators are looking into that mystery, what we do know about Brett and Sarah. What have you learned about them? Uh, they were a, a couple that was very passionate about sailing. Apparently they had met at a bus stop uh, running errands, and they had a, a Facebook page. They shared their adventures on social media, and they were so excited about this trip to the Azores. Uh, you see some of the images there. This was just a couple that was passionate about the sea. They were sailors. They were yachters. It's a very tight-knit community. And uh, by all accounts, they were just a, a wonderful couple that loved the sea, loved one another. And, uh, you know, obviously family, friends, and those who knew them, uh, very shaken by what's happened and really want to be able to find it at least the cause so that they can have at least some closure there. Yeah, what's been some of those reactions posted by family and, and members? Of their community. Yeah, our Chris Lambie uh, with Saltwire has been following this story and has been write, has written a number of articles about it. He's actually reached out to a number of the family and we have yet to hear back. But there's been some posts on social media from, as I mentioned, some, you know, sailors and yachters. It's a tight-knit group. And uh, they're obviously very upset by this and they want to know what happened. Anything to do with any kind of sailing, yachting, when there's a catastrophic event like this, the community comes together and wants to know what happened. That, and that's kind of the tone right now is mm. more for these two wonderful people, but also really wanted to get to the bottom of what happened. All right, Scott Squires with Saltwire. Thanks so much this morning for the update. You're very welcome. Be well. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.